On the previous video, we introduced the social hack, uh, social engineering toolkit, the set, and we just saw the menu and how to start the application. And on this video, we're going to start the first attack. It's called the credential harvest. And it's mainly based on phishing. And you remember, we explained phishing, which is creating a fake website. For many reasons, one of the reasons or the main reason is to capture credential. So let's see how to create a fake website and how to do that to capture credential from the victim. So we can open the terminal and go to the specific path, which is uh, inside pen test, exploit, and CD. Sorry. CD pen test and then CD exploit and then CD set and we run the tool set and we gonna start attack number two which is a website attack vector. In this tool, we're going to take two specific attacks. The phishing attack and a Java applet attack, which is using a fake website to fully compromise the victim machine. It's very, very nice, and we're going to get some good benefit from that. So on this option, on this attack, we have different kind of sub-attack. But as we mentioned, we're going to just start with a small one, an easy one credential harvest attack and what credential harvest is do it will do it will create a fake web page that will allow uh, the hacker to capture the credential or username or password from the victim so we're going to choose number three which is a credential harvest and we're going to click on okay so he gonna ask okay you need to create a fake website would you like to use one of the templates he got some template like facebook like gmail or like uh, Twitter, or do you have a site which you need to clone? Clone mean copy. So if we choose number one, he's gonna provide us with some template from where we can choose. Or number two, you have to write down a specific website, and he will create a similar website. So we're gonna choose the easiest one now, which is number one, and click on enter. <clears throat> and this is the template that he have so far. Gmail, Google, Facebook, Twitter. Let's take Gmail. So I'm going to tell him I need to create a fake Gmail page and click on enter. And he just gives that, you know, this is should not be used for any kind of attack or something like that. And press return to continue and agree. But before we press on enter, I want you to check this URL because this will be the URL that you need to send to the user that will include the fake page. So what this attack will do that he will create a fake website and it will host this website on this Linux machine. You notice, if you notice that this IP is the same IP on the Linux machine where you can find here at the top of the screen. So he's creating a web server on the same machine and he hosts one fake page on it. And then we click on enter. And now he's ready. And what we need to do is we need to send to the victim machine this URL and convince him to click on this URL. Now, definitely you cannot send it this way because it will be very obvious that, you know, it's, it's not right. But I'm going to show you some shortcut or I'm sorry, some uh, workaround that they are doing to, to uh, manipulate that. So let's go to any victim machine and use this website and see or this URL and see what we'll be getting. So I'll go to a Windows 7 machine, uh, sorry, or any machine, or it's a hacker machine, or, and let me log in. <coughs> and while it open, let me open also the Windows 7 machine.
So we had only seven machines that we can power on. And what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to do the attack on two different machines, has two different platforms. So let's open the browser. And we are assuming that this is the victim machine. So let's open the browser here. And let's type the <coughs> mentioned URL and let's see what will be had. So if you go here and we type HTTP column 192 dot 168 dot 95 dot 129 and we click on enter. Let's see what, what will show up and we will be do I'll do the same to the other machine. I think I miswrite something. Let me repeat. HTTP colon one nine two dot let me take one of those and just fix it one two nine. Click on enter. And let's see what we'll get. And during loading, I will go to the other machine as well. And I'll go to the user machine. And also I'm going to try to browse the same URL. So here. Let me open the browser. And go to the same URL. One nine two dot one six eight dot one two nine and we're gonna notice that he will open a Gmail page. So uh, this is Gmail a, a page, and on the Windows XP machine, we should also have the Gmail page. Okay, where is the XP machine? And you, of any of the machine, you write down any username and password like uh, test add test dot com, and the password will be test one two three four five. We're gonna notice that when you write the credential in this website, it will be captured and showed inside your victim machine as a Linux machine. So here I can see that this is the username and this is the password. So we notice that we were able to, I don't know why the XP is not, where is the XP machine? So anyone who will be logging to this web page, he will be ha he, he he will have the Gmail account Gmail website, and just by writing this his credential, it will be captured and sent to the uh, hacker machine. So this is how the user uh, username and password can be captured. It can be done for other templates like Facebook or Twitter, or it can be even be done for like one of your choice from the uh, website. So you can create a fake website for a bank or for the organization portal. And just the user will write down his username and password, it will be captured right away. Now the problem with this attack is that first, it can clone any website. Second, it run on any uh, uh, 
any platform that means it can be if you are used to browse from uh, your email from the browser from the mobile it will work on the mobile as well on android or apple ios on windows on linux because it's not related to the platform it's related to the uh, uh, browser from where you are uh, browsing so all browsers are infected with that you know so this is a very simple attack phishing attack and it cannot be detected because it's this website is not installing anything on your machine maybe on the next one you can have a browser that install a malware or a malicious code on your machine but this one is not installing anything you just open a website uh, that is hosted on a fake server a fake website on a fake server and you write your credential it will be sent there now regarding the second point that how people manipulate this url i mean i cannot send someone a url from uh, like has a number and he will just click on it so they use different way to change this url to change this number one of the ways to make shorten of the url a lot of websites will allow you to change the url and this is to shorten the url or to make it shorter than the normal because some url are very long so we used to see that all the time on facebook and twitter especially on twitter because they have a maximum length so sometimes you need to put url it will not fit there so you need to shorten the url so what we can do we can take this ip the ip of the fake server and we can put it here 192.168.129 I'm sorry, dot, uh, 95.129 and we we'll click on shorten and it will give us a new URL instead of a number it will be a URL whoever click on this URL he will get the fake hotmail page a uh, fake gmail page so this is how the phishing attack is done in a very very easy way and organization can test the awareness of people by sending them such fish website after taking the proper approval and see how individual act so if you have a good awareness inside your organization they will check the url and they will feel suspicious but if you don't implement awareness and people are not aware of security they can easily click and write down their credentials on next video, we're going to go to something more advanced and more uh, and deeper, which is how to, from this fake website, to install something on the victim machine that will give you full access on this machine. So let's move to the next video and see how to use the social engineering toolkit in a more advanced attack.